Hertz is on the feed auger coming in and 90 Hertz is on the air power. When I reduce the speed, as the water temperature heat, heats up, the first thing that starts slowing down is the feed coming in. Your auger is slowing down right now. That means there's less wood chips coming in. And that will continue to fall while the fan runs at full speed to keep the to keep from a large pile of fuel from collecting on the grate. Now at about half at about half speed here, the fan starts coming back. See that? Now our fan's slowing down. And that will continue to slow down in proportion to temperature rise. As your water temperature climbs, your fuel rate, firing rate drops to try to compensate for the reduced heat load. And we'll go that, that way the whole way down to idle. Now it's idling. You see we have the fan still running at a fairly high rate of speed. The feed auger is coming in very slowly. That's to maintain just a little pilot light in there. Just enough of a fuel to keep a little fire going so that when your demand kicks in, your water temperature starts dropping. Then as, you, as your water temperature drops a tenth of a degree, your feed speed increases. See that? It starts climbing. Your water temperature is falling. Your firing rate starts increasing to try to compensate for the rate of temperature drop, which means increased heat demand. And as your temperature continues to fall, your feed rate continues to climb. Firing rate is increasing. If your water temperature is set at 180 degrees, at 160 degrees, this will be running wide open. And anything below that. In the event your fire goes out, if your water temperature falls below 110 degrees, it will shut the whole system down because it will assume that you have no fire, that way it won't fill your firebox with unburnt fuel. If your water temperature continues to climb too fast after your heat load is off, there is also a high limit protection that will shut the thing down so you don't boil your water. These numbers reflect your set point. This is actual temperature. This is chimney temperature right now. That turns on the automatic dumping station to keep after the auger to fill. It's been in here now for two years and it's not warped at all. Yeah. Are those replaceable? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it lifts right you out of there? the whole thing out put yeah. a new one in, yep. Cool. I've had thermometers in here, 1300 degrees right at this point right in here, 350 at the chimney. Wow. So that's extracting, a, can extract at least a thousand degrees off, just that alone. 